All right, welcome everybody to the A102C Warthog inside of DCS World. Today we're going to take a look at the Scorpion helmet mounted queuing system and how to use it and how to employ weapons on targets. Now, it's actually pretty simple to use once you get the hang of it. There's a lot of acronyms, so we need to get through those acronyms. We got DMS, which is Data Management Switch, and we have TMS, which is Target Management Switch. So we're going to be using a lot of acronyms today, so please try to keep up with those acronyms and we'll make a more in-depth guide to cover a lot of that stuff here in the future. So this is just more of a preview of how to use this thing because the A102C is a situational awareness monster. So if we actually look over to the right, we can see a bunch of X's on the ground. Those X's are actually friendly units and we want to stay away from those friendly units. And we don't want to put any weapons on them. So it's nice to have those X's there to let you know like, hey, we got friendlies here. So we have a missile warning system launch. That's bad. Put out some flares. Pull up, pull up. Got some shore ads here. We got some SA9s and some Shilkas. Let's put out some flares here to get away from this situation. And we'll use the helmet mounting queuing system to put some rounds on target. We're going to show you how to do that multiple different ways. This thing is just an absolute king. It's a beast, rather, at CAS, at close air support. And I love the A10. Okay, so we're probably outside the engagement zone here, so we'll turn right. Targeting pod's on our right. And let's do a little slight climb here. Turn on the autopilot. All right. So, what do we need to do first? Well, we need to make the helmet mounting queuing system our soy. So how do we do that? Coolie hat down switch once. And you can see our asterisk is right there. So coolie hat down short makes it our soy. Now we can slew our targeting pod over here if we want, or we can throw a mark point here. I usually throw mark points because the mark points stay there. So if we want a mark point, we just do TMS right short. Wherever the Maltese cross is looking, puts a mark point. So there's mark point alpha. So we know that there's bad guys at mark point alpha. So if they are started shooting at us again, like more shore ads are coming at us, we made a mark point. We can just slew everything over to that mark point and we know exactly where they are. We can start defending. So how do we slew everything on over there? Well, Warning, let me turn to the right here just real quick so we're not masked on the TGP. We'll put it into altitude heading mode and autopilot on. Safety's on. All right, sweet. So we have Mark Point Alpha. We just created that with our helmet mounting queuing system. And it's still soy. You can tell by the asterisk on the bottom left. Now, how do we slew everything over there? Or how do we make the mark point alpha our speed? Well, it's fairly simple. It's TMS right long. So hold TMS right long. Boom. There's the wedding cake. That is now our speed. And we can also tell in the t in the uh, HUD here, it says mark. So that mark point is now our speed. So let's get that TGP over there so we can take a look. So how do we do that? Well, China hat forward long. So we hold that over. Boom. That's what we're looking at. And you see a little dash box right there? That's what our TGP is looking at. So now we need to make the TGP soy. And it's fairly simple to do. Coolie hat right long. And you can see now we have a green box that's around the MPD. So let's zoom in with the FOV. China hat forward short. And we can see we got some IFVs there. There's a Shilka. And there's an SA9. So we want to take out this we want to take out this SA-9 real quick. So we'll put it in INR mode real quick with DMS down short. Warning. So we can turn because our targeting pod's about to get masked again. And again, using this helmet mounting queuing system just does so much for you. So looking over there, you can see there's our original mark point. We actually sued the TGP over and you can see this is the TGP right here with the dashed square if I actually expand the FOV out you can see the FOV gets bigger and expand in gets smaller so how do we make this our speed well TMS up long boom that is now our speed and if we look at our HUD you can see right there where it said Hemix earlier or Mark earlier sorry it is now TGP so everything is slewed to the TGP right now so let's refine this mark real quick. That's the SA9. That's what we want to take out. 
And we can bring up weapons several different ways. A lot of people like using the HUD. You can use the Dismas uh, page. I usually like using the Dismas page just so I can look over the settings that I have in there. But for today, we'll just use the HUD. So use the HUD. Coolie hat up short. Puts a little asterisk in the HUD. And we can use DMS left and right to cycle through all of our weapons. So we have Maverick selected. We're going to put a Maverick on this SA-9 because we don't want to be inside the engagement zone. So we need to put the Maverick page up on the left MPD. We can either click right down here with the associated OSB or we can use the coolie hat switch we just do coolie hat left short it cycles through all these but it doesn't make it soy because you have to use long coolie hat left long to make it soy so coolie hat left long made it soy coolie hat left short just cycles through all the different pages here let's turn on back so we can put a maverick on that SA-9 And we're going to show you how easy this is. Again, it's a lot of different acronyms. Just bear with me. Once you get the hang of all of these acronyms and how to use the HOTAS and the A10, this thing is an absolute beast. All right, so path hold on the autopilot so we can look around. There it is right there. Zoom in with the DMS switch. Put it into point track mode. And again, we're going to put a Maverick on that target. So we'll make the Maverick page soy. Coolie left long. Coolie hat left long. Sorry. And then China hat forward short to zoom in. And let's turn towards Morning, this bad guy here. China hat forward long to make sure everything's slewed on over. TMS up short. You can tell we have a lock with the Maverick rifle. We'll come off to the left. Put off some flares. You can see the SA-9 right now. He's like, hey, I'm about to engage this guy. <laughs> so we want to get away from him. He's definitely looking at me. We're just putting out flares just in case. Boom. Alright, so that one's dead. So that was fairly simple. It was just a lot, of, a lot of different steps. Now we'll use TMS down, or TMS aft, long to reset the speed to the steer point so it's going to reset all the way back to our original steer point which was the initial position you can see with the wedding cake right there we have a number two wingman he's just holding over there so now let's just use the tgp instead of using a mark point how do we use the tgp without making a mark point well that's pretty simple too just make the Coming out in queuing system, soy. Coolie head down short. See the asterisk. Now we do DMS or digital management switch right long. Boom. TGP is now looking right at that location. It doesn't look big. I mean, that's what she said, but that's because it's all the way zoomed in. So, gotta make our targeting pod soy. Expand FOV. Zoom out. And we'll zoom out with the digital management switch. And you can see right there. Boom. That's our TGP, so DMS right long. So let's see if we want to take a look at these guys over here. DMS right long, boom. And you can see there's our bad guys, not bad guys, but those are our good guys. There's all our friendlies right there just hanging out. Obviously they have X's on it, so we don't want to do that. So, again, helmet mounted queuing system soy. TMS right long makes our last mark point speed. RSP is now on mark point alpha. Now we just slew everything over. China hat forward long. Boom. There goes our TGP looking right at that location again. Here's another SA-9 right here. Let's quickly engage him. So again, we want to make TGP our soy. So TMS forward long. Just to verify. Look at the HUD. It says TGP on the bottom left. So we're nowhere golden there. So we'll turn inbound here. As I'm turning in, China hat forward long to slew all sensors to this location on the TGP. So the Maverick will slew right over. Make the Maverick soy. Fully hat left long. China hat forward short to zoom in. TMS up short. 
Got a lock. Rifle. Pull up, pull up. And then we'll put out some more flares just in case. This guy should be gone here in just a few seconds. Boom. He is gone. So that's just some ways to use this, and there's plenty of different ways. So another way we can actually use this is make the Hemic Soy. And if we just start slewing. So if we start slewing, you see the little box? We can put that wherever we want. TMS forward long, that makes it our speed. China hat forward long, boom. That's our new speed. So let's get two in on the situation real quick. We'll turn the autopilot on. We'll say wingman to engage ground targets. Engage targets of opportunity. There's two right there. And it's always good to share your speed, especially if you're on multiplayer. So you can see that's two speed right there. So we can actually take a look at what he's about to engage. But first, we'll take a look at the TAD. And you can see our speed is off. So how do we make it our speed? or share our speed, it is TMS left long. So TMS left long shares our speed, especially on multiplayer, you definitely want to share your speed so everyone can see what you're looking at. So let's reset everything real quick. Warning, auto and we'll take a look at what 2 is looking at. So we're sharing our speed. And 2 is sharing his speed as well. So he's being a good boy. So we'll take a look at what 2 is looking at, make our helmet mounting queuing system our soy. Cool he had down short and then TMS up short on what he's looking at. And that's hooking it. And you can see there's a little dashed yellow line. So we're basically hooked onto what two's looking at. But we need to we need to make that our speed. So TMS forward long, boom, that's now our speed. China hat forward long, boom. That's what two's looking at. He's looking at this, this Shilka right here. So two should be engaging the Shilka here any moment. That's just a very useful tool to see exactly what your wingmen are looking at. So again, we are at a Mavericks. So we'll make our HUD soy and DMS on over to the CBU 97s. Now we'll make this CCRP and let's put some cluster bombs on this location. So we see a group of tanks right here. We'll zoom in. And we'll put it right there. Slew everything on over. TGP is our soy. And here we go. Going in to put a CBU-97 on this location. Two's running in on that Shilka. That's good. There's our ASL. Two seconds, one second, boom. One away. And if we look over here and come off to the left, there's our CBU-97. Two's firing a Shilka, that's why we got a missile warning launch, but we'll put out some flares just in case, because there might be another Shilka, or another uh, Shore Ed down here. Pull up, pull up. Two is on fire right now. Alright, our CBU-97 should be going off here any second. Good job, too. And CPU 97 is going off. I want to thank all of you for watching my A10 Scorpion helmet mounting queuing system video. We went over a lot today, and there's a lot of acronyms, but I assure you, with practice, you will go out there and dominate the sky. So, really appreciate all the support lately, and I'll be putting out some more A10 content in the near future. Take care.